Hey guys, I'm Johnny with 180 Second Ideas. Here's 10 things that every gun guy needs to stop saying. Number 10, did you know that AR stands for Armalite Rifle? Yeah, pal, we know it stands for Armalite Rifle. We've known it since the 60s. Stop saying it. Number nine is any time that guys talk about barrel life. Listen, Kevin, you don't shoot enough to be asking questions about chrome line versus non-chrome lined on your AR barrel. You don't shoot enough to be asking those questions. The average rifle dies a slow death from neglect. So stop talking about it. You don't know what you're talking about, do you? Number eight makes me feel like I'm losing my mind is when guys ask about misfeeds and misfires. People base their entire YouTube gun review on whether the pistol or the rifle actually fires. We've got to get beyond that and stop talking only in misfeeds and misfires. Number seven is a doozy. It's the thing you need to stop saying is using the words paid shill. Now this one is primarily on YouTube, but it's now bleeding over to social media. Guys get so upset and they'll leave in the comment section on nearly every video, oh, he's just a paid shill to talk about that firearm. Well, here's a newsflash, Alex. Everybody on YouTube gets paid in one way or another, or at least channels that have enough size to make a difference. Yeah, even that gun tuber that you hold up as the bastion of economic purity, yeah, he gets paid too. So stop saying it. Paid shield. Take it out of your vocabulary. Hi, Billy Mays here for OxyClean, the stain specialist. Number six is directed at the YouTubers. Stop asking people to subscribe to your channel. Ring that bell, smash that like, give me a thumbs up. And I can't deny the fact that you like me. The number five thing that gun guys need to stop talking about is stopping power. Stop it. Hey! Don't you ever say that again. Number four is in the comment section of every AR video. Some jack wagon will say, all mil spec parts and all mil spec guns are the same. Uh, no, no they're not. Mil spec is a window of specifications and there's a lot of leeway within there. They're not all the same. Stop saying it. Well, let me explain something to you three cartoon characters. Number three goes out to all of our friends on the left coast. Every gun guy, all of us, we need to stop saying the words, just move out of California. Hey, you know what? A lot of folks live there. They have lives there. They have jobs there. And some of them even have kids in school. And anytime somebody mentions they're from California, down in the comment sections, gun guys often will say, just move, get out of California. Real easy for you to say, people have lives there, they have jobs there, and it's too easy to say, just move, just get out of there. Hey pal, why don't you start by getting out of your mom's basement? <laughs> the number two thing we need to stop saying is, what's the best gun for home defense? That question cannot be answered. There's no right answer for what's the best gun to protect your home. Stop asking it. Oh, and by the way, the average break-in in America is at two in the afternoon. Think about that one. He's climbing in your windows. He's snatching your people up. And before we get to number one, here's an honorable mention. It's the guy that says this, if you don't carry one in the chamber, you might as well be carrying a brick. Stop it. Direct it. And the number one thing that gun guys need to stop saying is Molon Labe. For a couple reasons. First, if your only understanding about Greek warfare is from the movie 300, do a little homework. Yeah, you probably won't tattoo that one on your arm anytime soon. This is Sparta! Also, there's never going to be a moment where the ATF casually comes down the driveway, pops the family dog, and demands your weapons. Your chance to jump behind the couch screaming, come and take it. No, that's not the way that the federal government operates. If there's anything we learn from Tapper's The Outpost, is that Uncle Sam, if they so choose, if they want to, they can rain down, excuse the language, hellfire, brimstone, lava, and fury from straight above. So the idea of come and take it, Molon Labe, while I understand it and I support it, there's no reason to tattoo that one down your arm or to have the flag or the sticker on or behind your truck. It's silly. Stop saying it. Molon Labe, come and take them. So what did I miss? Let me know down below what you think gun guys need to stop saying. Also, I want to remind you to smash that like button, hit the subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and to everyone out there, Molon Lave.